just wanted a good grade. <laughs> That's it. So, Michael, what made you want to be in a reality show? <laughs> I'm pretty big. Like, well known in this city, and I know I make good cocktails. I think I have the business to prove it. Plus, you approached me and told me I'd be on a local cable news station, so I thought it would be good advertising. This is going to be on TV, right? Let's just get to the questions. <laughs> so, what made you open a bar slash restaurant? Well, I used to try and make as much money as I could downtown. I wasn't working for a bit of time. I came into a time when things weren't going my way, so I would just imposter myself as my friends who didn't want to do jury duty. <laughs> I don't think I'm a, allowed to say that, but I would use their IDs and I'd bring their jury duty letters and I'd show up. Heck, I got paid for lunch. I got paid for parking, even when I didn't drive. And I got paid daily to show up. It kind of felt like I was at a local theater show. It was a good gig when I could get it. Plus, the plasma center, it's, it's right down the street. And I would walk past this bar to sell my plasma weekly so I could make money. So I knew of the bar. Because I would pass it every week, and I would stop to give plasma, and I would stop back after I gave plasma to get another orange juice. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so you decided to buy the bar slash restaurant? No, 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 not really. I didn't decide to buy it, but I saw one day it was for sale because the owner, who used to heavy pour my vodka and orange juice cocktails, well, he got put in jail for soliciting prostitution out of the back room. I mean, you and I both know that's not good at all. I mean, if you're going to solicit prostitution, I mean, you got to be a bit more careful, right? Really? He said that? Because if that man could solicit prostitution and make even a little bit of money from it, I'm for sure he would do it. <laughs> so when are you going to tell him that this isn't a real reality show and it's just your college thesis film and you slept with Kayla, I just simply introduce you to Michael. So anyway, I had been living out of my sister's house for quite a while because, you know, life was just giving me the ups and the downs. When I came home one day and told her that this bar was for sale, she just somehow made it happen for me. I mean, she knows I like to drink a cocktail every once in a while and she works in a bank and she just somehow miraculously got me the loan to buy the bar, move out of her house and get a place of my own. <laughs> my sister loves me. Is that what he said? <laughs> Seriously, his sister couldn't get him out of the house fast enough. Mm -hmm. She caught him once giving her kids shots of coke, telling them it was Jack Daniels and to pretend like they were drunk. But they weren't drunk. It was just make-believe and he was taken care of in the best way you know how. His mustache is fake. I like it. So, Sarah, I was able to buy this bar and turn it into a bar slash restaurant that I always wanted. Listen, I watched The Love Boat as a kid. I watched Cheers, and I knew that it needed some elegant name, fancy. So when I bought it, I changed the name from Dickie McDougal's to a barman's aperitif because it sounded fancy, and I thought I'd get some better clientele. Listen, Sarah, I'm not going to lie to you. I love to drink, but I also love making cocktails. I was a bartender in college and in my 20s and in my 30s and in my 40s. I, I had an awesome mentor when I was younger and I liked the aspect of following the cocktails recipes to exactly how the cocktails are supposed to be made. You know, Sarah, I might go back to college. Michael, thank you for giving us a little bit of insight on you. 
Um, can I ask you a few more questions? <laughs> Go for it. Gives me a chance to have another cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure that it's your fourth. <laughs> Are you counting? Okay, I'm sorry. Is that your real mustache? Well, <clears throat> that's an interesting question. But, no. You see, I like to come to work with different personas. Some days I may wear a mustache. The ladies think I am so manly, I can grow it overnight. Do they really believe that? <laughs> yes. And why do you ask? It's just a question. <clears throat> Uh, so we are here today to film you in your element, teaching us cocktails. So what are you going to teach us today? Oh, well, that's a very good question. One of my favorite cocktails in the whole wide world, the one that I drink a lot, a lot, is the martini. <laughs> it's the most overplayed and the most disrespected cocktail in the world. I mean, I hate when people come to the bar and say, can I have an espresso martini? Can I have an ice cream martini? Can I have a blue martini? No! Come on. A martini is a martini. It's a solid cocktail made with two ingredients and an olive. I drink them all the time. You know, one of my favorite books I've ever read is Casino Royale by Ian Fleming. It's a story about James Bond. It was written in 1953 and it's the, the first book in the James Bond series. You know something? I'm gonna tell you a secret. I am like James Bond. I mean, I'm gonna admit, I'm a ladies man myself. In fact, the ladies at the bar, they refer to me as Barman Bondo. <laughs> Doggy! Yeah. Really? He said the ladies call him Barman Bondo. <laughs> The only reason people call him that is because he has a name tag that says that. Nobody calls him that but him. <laughs> he loves James Bond, and so these poor servers, Travis and Elisa, who kind of bear a resemblance to these characters, have to be tortured with James Bond in West Berlin. He even makes them wear name tags with those names. So, <clears throat> I have a few employees who absolutely love me. I mean, all of my employees think that I'm the best boss they've ever had. But these two love that I think they remind me of Casino Royale. Travis and... Travis and the girl, whatever her name is, who looks like Bess Berlin. Well, they look exactly like Daniel Craig's James Bond and Bess Berlin from the movie Casino Royale. See, that is where the famous line about the martini comes from. James Bond likes his martini, shaken and not stirred, and he falls in love with Vespa Lynn. So Ian Fleming created a cocktail recipe in the novel that Bond names after her, the Vespa Martini. So I like it when they do a little skit about James Bond for me. To be honest with you, I kind of get off on it. Why are you filming us? We're off of work. Did you guys get to film us doing that silly little skit again? I hate you holding hands with the finger at it. I like James Bond. I think he gets off on it. Mr. Bond, I didn't know you were right next door. How convenient. I'm Bess Belind. Best Berlin, yes, I know. Enchante. Vesper, I hope you gave your pants hell for that name. <laughs> Sometimes. You do know what Vesper means, don't you? Mm -mm. Well, I was born on a very stormy evening, and my parents named me Vesper. Which is Latin for evening. Mm, well, then aren't you the lucky one? Your name suits you perfectly. Oh? Some people might say, or do say, I am the money. Every penny of it. Mr. Bond, I have some business to take care of downstairs. 
was going to stop by the bar as well. Would you care to join me? It's interesting. Were you listening to the phone conversation I had with the bar downstairs? No. Because I've just ordered a cocktail to be waiting for me. Oh, and what is your cocktail, Mr. Bond? Today, it's a very dry martini served in a champagne goblet. It's three measures of gin. Add one measure of vodka and half a measure of quinoa lily. Shake over ice until it's very cold. No olive and a very thin slice of lemon. So you don't just want a vodka martini with an olive? No. I, I prefer gin, but they use vodka in the movie. And I'm going to do gin like they do in the book. No olive, very little lemon. And how do you want that martini? <laughs> Shake it. Not stirred. <laughs> <laughs> did they do it? They did. And they appear to love doing the skit for you. They always do. All right, let me get my recipe book. Let's go make that cocktail. <laughs> oh. Hi there, I'm Michael, and welcome to my bar, Barman's Aperitif. Here, you will always find cocktails and stories. Today, I'm going to show you how we make one of our favorite cocktails here in the bar, the Vespa Martini. So, get your notebook, sharpen your pencils, and get ready as we assemble our favorite cocktail, the Vespa Martini. <music> Fancy clothes in a bar. We should do this more often. Okay, but next time let's go to a nice place, not a dive. <laughs> yeah. Shut up and sit down. 